happy, happy hum day. Happy, happy hum day. Happy, happy hum day to y'all. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Let's get into a car conversation. Let me roll my windows up, child. Let me roll the windows up. Don't you turn on the light. They gonna hit your car. Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. And this is another edition of A Car Conversation on Jay Lee's Corner. Okay, y'all, I recorded a video yesterday on the way to work. And it was, the, it was, child, it was the noise. It was like a little rattling because my phone in this case, child, it be moving and it ain't supposed to, okay? I can't wait till I find a better car mop. I don't want to keep ordering them and they dumb. Okay, because I'm mad, I'm mad the one I had before was perfect and it just, it went away. Okay, anyway, y'all know, like, comment, share, subscribe and stuff. Um, I was supposed to go live yesterday evening, but I agree. Now, I said, I don't feel like it. Canceled, okay? So, here we are today. So, uh... What's that? Say one. So Monday, I did a car conversation, and in my car conversation, I had mentioned the fact that I am on oh 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 Zippy and stuff. Okay, and I had some people say, "Hey, you know, make a video about it. You know, chit chat or whatever. Say what you what I say." And that's it, fine, because I have been I have been thinking about doing one anyway. So we're going to see. But yesterday when I recorded a whole video about it again, the rattling, even though it wasn't that bad, it got on my nerve and I knew it would get on y'all nerve too. So let's hope today's drive to work has less rattling because I'm on a different phone. I'm on my iPhone 13 this time. Um, and it's just, you know, it's just, it's because it's, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I hope I got it in there securely. Now, but if this one has rattling, y'all gonna have to just deal with. Y'all gonna just listen to it because I'm not gonna, I'm not re-recording again. Anyway, um, love y'all. So, I, y'all know I was sick in 2022. I got COVID. Okay, got COVID. Was in the hospital and all that stuff. And when I caught COVID back in 2022, it, child, all my stuff got messed up. Okay, all my insides, all my levels, everything was sky high, sky rocketing, everything. And so, at that time, because I had not been uh, diagnosed with di diabetes before, but in the hospital, I said, oh, girl, your, your A1C is at 12.9 like or whatever. I said, I'm going to die, Jesus. Um, my sugars was really high. It was like above 200, like 250s. But this is why I was, why I was like actively COVID dying in the hospital. I was in the hospital for a week and all that stuff. So, they put me on insulin in the hospital and all this stuff when i got out of the hospital when i was at home they still had me on insulin um but now i was taking like three four shots and it was crazy and i kept getting sicker in my opinion my legs were starting to swell up burning you know rat all this stuff and i'm like what is going on so when i went to my doctor um no one told me that these side effects was from the insulin okay they just said, oh no, well, you know, you need, you need insulin because you diabetic, man. you need all the insulin. And I said, I don't think I need this, I don't think so. And so I took my own opinion and stopped taking the insulin and I got better. It was, I was, I, I had all the side effects from these, the insulin. So I had stopped taking insulin back in 2022, had not done a since. And my A1C had went down to a seven, I was fine. Block, block, blue. Okay, went to my doctor back in May. For my regular checkup or whatever and they ran my blood again i was up to a nine he said oh jay lee okay you're up at a nine child my a1c and he said i said look i'm not doing insulin okay i'm not gonna the last time it got me so sick not gonna happen he said okay well you know what about ozempic now i know people think ozempic is a weight loss drug it's not a weight loss drug 
Ozempic is a drug for people who are diabetic, even some who are pre-diabetic. And it's to help you, you know, level out your A1C. It helps with sugars. It just helps, okay? It's like blood pressure, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing it. But it's not a weight loss drug. A side effect of it, because it suppresses your appetite, is that you lose weight. But I don't want anyone thinking if you take Ozempic, you, you poke yourself once a week, you're gonna lose weight automatically. That ain't how it happens, okay? So my doctor suggested I take Ozempic. I said, fine, I'll try it. Let's see. This is one shot a week versus me. I was doing like three or four a day, every day. Too much, too much, too much, okay? And that was based on what I was being given in the hospital. And then when I came again, but when I was, I had COVID. Anyway, so I started taking Ozempic. It was the end of July or the end of June. I think the end of July. I think like July 29th or something like that. I don't, I, either the end, no, I think maybe it was the end of June. I can't remember. Either the end of June, it's in my notes. Either the end of June or the end of July. One of the two. But I've been on it for a few months. Okay, now first of all, um, I read all the stuff. I was Googling all the stuff, seeing all the TikToks. Okay, oh, you're gonna be, you're gonna have constipation. Oh, you're gonna be really, really tired. Oh, you're gonna be really, really dehydrated and eat all the waters. Oh, you're gonna, you know, you can't eat nothing that's gonna make you sick and all this stuff. So I was terrified, like, oh my God. So they start you out on like the lower, well, at least for me. Okay, it's through my insurance. It's not expensive for me. I pay a little $25 copay or whatever in my pen. It's one shot per week. That's it. Now, I know some people, you know, it's more expensive for them. It's more expensive for you or it's not covered if you if it's not for you. Because, again, it's not a weight loss drug. They cannot prescribe it to you through your insurance for weight loss. You have to be, you know, what it's for. Now, the people who have been paying the extra monies and paying a thousand, thirteen, fifteen hundred dollars or whatever for it, those are people who were not probably, were not diabetic, did not need it, but wanted it, and so they paid to they paid for it. You know, some of the rich folk around here. Now, I remember Marlo, so you know, Marlo from Housewives. I hope my thing ain't rattling. I know Marlo from Housewives of Atlanta had brought up how she was on it and she lost all that weight because Marlo wasn't thick. Marla wasn't diabetic, for one. So, if you have a person who's already, you know, not a plus-size person, they're not diabetic, they don't have the same levels in their body, if you're taking the medication that suppresses your appetite and you're not eating, you're going to lose weight. Okay? But it also going to mess up your insides. You hear me? So, when, she, when Marlo said how she had not pooped for two weeks, I think, girl, that was, your, that was you. That was you. Because I have not had any constipation issues. Now, I will say this. I had not had any bad constipation issues. I think maybe once or twice this whole time since I've been on it, like one day I didn't poop. And the following day, I just took me some, some fiber gummies and I pooped. And it was fine after that. So I had not had any crazy side effects. Um, the day after I take my shot, you know, that's why sometimes I tell you I be tired or I don't feel well. It's because it's usually the day after I took my shot. And for me, my only, I would say, side effect is that the day after I take my shot, that's when I feel nauseous. I do feel nauseous. Sometimes I'm really tired, but just for that one day. Like when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh my God, I feel nauseous or whatever. And by the, the day after that, I'm fine. And it's not even bad. Now, is my appetite suppressed? It is. But it's not as if I can't eat nothing. Sometimes I just forget to eat <laughs> It's still like 4 p.m. But I also eat food. And then even sometimes if I'm not hungry, but I know I haven't eaten, I'll eat. I eat a lot of protein now. I'm doing a lot of chicken, mainly chicken. I'm about to do like turkey, like turkey, whatever. I cut out fried food. I've never been a fried food person that, that much. I like bake my french fries or whatever. So I've been watching what I eat. Now, when I had my back issue, my, I had them back spasms. I wasn't working out, so I have I have not lost as much weight as I think I could have had I been working out more. I'm working out more now, but I have lost about 25 pounds since being on Ozempic. Okay, um, 
I was at the lowest dose, I'm now at the highest, so like the, the highest is for Ozempic. It's only two uh, milliliters, milligrams, I don't know, two milliliters, okay. Um, but it hasn't been this crazy ordeal for me. Um, my pharmacy, I have it delivered every month. They drop it off at my door in a refrigerated box, and that's it. And that's because, uh, you know, at the time, some pharmacies, the pharmacies were having shortages. And they're like, well, you can either, you know, try to get it from pharmacy Walgreens or whatever, or, you know, you can get it from, you know, the, the hearing for hospitals, like supplier. And they all, I said, well, give me that. <laughs> give it to me that way, okay? Um, there's just a stigma about it. Oh, they on no zip. Oh, it's the it's the way it's it's the lose way. Oh, you know it's it's not it's not the easy route because it's not as easy as taking a shot and the weight falling off. It's not like if you get weight loss surgery to where your body just automatically starts losing weight. That's not what it is. Um, you have to still eat right. You have to still work out, be active, and all that stuff. And the more active you are, the more weight you will eventually lose. Okay. So, and also with the medication for Ozempic, it takes a month or so. Like, it's not as if you take the shot on one week and all, boom. You know, appetite gone, you lost the weight. It's not, it, it takes time for the medication to start working in your system and for your body to acclimate to what it's supposed to do. Um, I haven't had any, like, in, uh, you know, injection site issues. Like, my, I don't have any stomach problems. I don't have any of that stuff. It's not really... Um, the issue I'm having uh, luckily for me I'm not having any of that stuff some people do it just ain't me um, it's just not me I'm not having that issue but I do want people to stop making it seem like Ozempic is this easy peasy lemon squeezy hold on y'all um, okay, what am I doing Oh, hold on, man. I just don't want people feeling like it's this easy thing to do. And if you're taking it, that's, oh, it's the easy route. Oh, you know, you, no, it's not what it is. Okay, it's not that at all. Now, I will give these, you know, precautions. Um, if you want to take it, that's fine. Ask your doctor. I just had a conversation with my doctor about it, and they thought it would be a good thing because I am, I am plus size. I do need to lose weight. I have been losing weight. Okay, I'm active now. I, I'm not even fat because I eat too much. I don't eat the wrong things <laughs> or whatever. But I have been on a better journey ever for a while. Okay, so I have been losing and maintaining. I have not been gaining. Uh, before I started Ozempic, and even again, I've lost about 25 pounds um, since doing it, and it's because it takes time, and it's not a quick fix. It's not a quick fix. Um, but I just, I don't want anyone thinking, you know, oh, you around, you can't poop, oh, you you can't eat, oh, you, it's, it's not that at all. I don't be throwing up. Um, I don't be, I don't have any stomach issues. I don't have any pooping issues or whatever. I just take my shot once a week and I let it be what it is. But for me, it's helped keep my A1C down. I'm back down to a seven. Okay, I'm back down to a seven. My blood sugars are always a regular, you know, between like, between like 80 and 100. I, I don't, I'm not a quote unquote, a diabetic person who is like on the verge of like dying. I'm, I don't have high levels. I just have to keep myself maintained. And now we're doing that without Ozempic. And now we're just better with it. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's what it's supposed to be for. It's not weight loss. Um, I will say if you have the pen. Because it's like a little. It's, it's, it's like an EpiPen. Okay. You, you, you a, a little pen. You just inject. And that's it. It does need to be refrigerated when you first get it. Before you use it. So. Because I had someone say. Oh I got my pen. And I left it sitting out. It's been two weeks because I've been researching. I will always say, before you get your pen, research before you get it. Because you don't want to pay for it. And you got it. You don't use it. It's a waste of money. So, I would say, you know, do all your research before beforehand with your doctor, though. 
and everybody's symptoms will be different your reactions will be different everybody will be different so for people in my opinion who had these crazy crazy reactions i think some of them were just uh, unlucky but some of them were probably people who wasn't supposed to be on it you're not supposed to give anyone your pen. You, you, you can't you can't get Ozempic and, and give somebody else your dosage because the dosage is based on each person or whatever. You know what I'm saying? With your doctor. So I would say that. But I would say, you know, do your research beforehand. You know, make sure it's what you want to do. Um, make sure it's for the right reasons. Again, I do not want NT1 thinking that it's going to magically have you losing weight. That is not what it is. It's not instant either okay the first two to three months is really your body is acclimating to the medication and now my body's kind of used to it and so that that's why i think now i'm starting to, to drop pounds because now i'm doing what i'm supposed to do um so yeah if y'all have questions let me know i can't think of what else to say um that's why it was funny when i you know i got my three months supply my three months supply and they it was lost or whatever or misplaced and now i got six pins <laughs> um so i do plan to stay on it until my a1c is you know below a seven um i don't see myself being on it forever for life i do feel like maybe a year maybe two okay and as long as i am maintaining my new habits i think i will be fine it also helps you because i my big munch was chips i love chips i could chop i could eat a whole bag of chips i could eat a party size bag of of lays sour cream chips sour cream and cheese chips or whatever is that what called sour cream and cheese chips in like two days i love munching that was my my snack of choice i am a potato girl carb 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 so i have to work on my carbs and since i've been on ozempic i am less i child i may eat some chips like once a month and that's it um so it does help you change your eating habits because you just i mean I, you do you do blanche um so yeah you know y'all i'm almost at work right now so i will talk to y'all later again if you have questions or whatever you, know, you can put it in the comment section um i'm not an ozempic ex expert again i've only been on it for the past you know a couple months uh, for like three four months at this point in time so i'm just now like it's like it's used to i'm used to it i know how my body gonna react i know if i'm gonna feel a bit nauseous um and that's what it is so we shall see y'all anyway oh the the it doesn't hurt when you poke yourself it's a small 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 needle it does not hurt i've done most of my shots all in my in my abdomen you know the front of your abdomen um i did my shot i just did this past uh week um i did it in my thigh because you can do it you can do it either in your, in your in your abdomen your thigh or the back of your arm and i have been doing my stomach this whole time you know just with the sides or whatever and then i said well let me try my thigh bitch i said oh lord jesus not the thigh <laughs> and i it's not that it, like it it was a this a different i thought well, let's sting a little bit it's a little different and then the following day, the, the nausea I had was a bit more. Um, so they do sometimes say different incision sites may give you a different symptom, mainly because of how I guess it go into your body. And it wasn't bad in my thigh at all. Um, it was not bad, you know, definitely thigh. It wasn't bad at all. Um, it just was like, <laughs> yeah, you know saying little poke, little poke, little poke. Um, so I'm going, I think, try to keep doing my thigh for the next couple of weeks to see if that, uh, if I have any difference in, um, anything else. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's, you know, it's been fine, but I just kept, I just, I was tired of seeing people, um, comment and say dumb stuff about people who are on it or whatever. And I just want to reiterate as a person who, who is on it, that it's not a weight loss drug. You know, people are not getting on it to, to, to to people do get wanted to lose weight because they know that's a side effect but that's not what the drug is for and some people will, will, will get it and they won't lose any weight again candy told y'all she tried it and it did not suppress her appetite it did not um help her lose any weight but i also feel like you you can't take it and think it's going to instantly work it takes time for it to work for certain people anyway Except hoax who, you know, maybe don't need it. Anyway, y'all, let me go on to work. 
Um, again, if you have questions or whatever, comment below. If you're on Ozempic and want to discuss it, put it in the comment section below. And we shall see y'all. But this is my little Ozempic story time. Uh, and what I've been doing, and I've just been rambling really where anything else. Um, I'm happy I got on it. Just because I want to get my A1Cs. I want to keep my A1Cs down, for one. And to me, it's no different than any a person who has high blood pressure and have to take blood pressure medication to make sure that their levels don't get, you know, kind of crazy. So, um, let's stop looking at Ozempic as a weight loss drug because that's not what it is, okay? And there are many drugs that we know that they give for one thing and people take it for another. So, but that's it, y'all. I got to go like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.